so just you are going to design digital clock by using uh, multiple 7 segments with keel and produce combination so for that just open your keel micro vision and choose the option go for project tab <coughs> and select the option new project and give your project name as digital clock and click on save so this is the controller manufacturer window you can choose any microcontroller family from this list and now our people are working on a specific device which is from Atman manufacturer and if we click on this plus mark we will get the list of devices from Atmel so from this list choose the device 8089C51 and click on ok and this is the startup code warning and click on no now our people created project and as a target device which is 80 atmel 8089c51 now open your editor window to write the program for that file tab and click on new and this is the text editor here you can write your statements and before going to write try to save this text window with a specific name for that go file tab and choose the option save and give your digital clock and now for your program name you people have to give compulsory extension which is dot c say now you can start your program so this is the controller header file name you have to include which is reg51.h this is for all controller 51 families and now I am using multiple 7 segment to display multiple numbers on 7 segments so for that we are controlling common anode pins by connecting with IO pins which is segment 1 common anode pin which is connected with one IO pin and second segment common anode pin which is connected with another IO pin So this is the declaration for common anode pin connection. And if you are looking for connecting other segment lines followed by other IO pins and always give your port names in capital letters because the C language which should be case sensitive because I am using 4 multiple 7 segments for displaying hours and minutes on the segment followed by present time Now, so these are the four segment declarations which are all common anode lines which are controlled through these IO pins and as usual I am taking void main
this is from here program compilation starts and initially I am making all common anode pins logics as zeros so because of this logic zero all segments will turn off So now I am entering into the infinite loop which is while of 1 and for displaying first number on first segment make it segment 1 equals to 0 1 this is for to turn on the first segment and you are going to turn on first segment and you people have to give some time delay between display to display for that you can declare one integer variable now so what is the present time morning 9 9 am so our time is 9 5 so to get the number 9 on first segment So the equivalent number for your 9 is 0x90h 0x90 and give some time delay <coughs> which is very less now turn off the first segment and give your seven second segment value as logic one and pass your seven segment related value this is for zero to get zero on segment you have to pass the hexadecimal value as zero x c zero and give the same time delay now so if you want to pass the next number for third segment just make it segment 2 as 0 and turn on your segment 3 and give your third segment as 0xc0 0 followed by some time delay and the last segment which is segment 4 to turn on segment 4 first turn off your segment 3 and make it segment 4 as 1 and give your segment related value which is 5 for displaying 5 which is 92 H and apply your delay as same and repeat the loop So this is the program for operating your four multiple segments to get the four different numbers on four multiple segments which is as present time and if you want to run this program on target device just go file tab and choose option save and to run this program on hardware then select your target from project workspace window 
click on this plus mark and select source group 1 and right click it and select the option add files to source group 1 this is our digital clock file you have to select and click on add once your program is added you will get plus mark for source group also you can verify here whether the program is added or not now if you want to see the errors and warnings of your program go project tab and select the option build target it will show the errors and warnings of your program and if you want to see this program output with hardware simulation you have to create hex file just choose target one and right click it and select the option options for target target one and give it oscillator frequency as 11.0592 and click on use on chip ROM and select output tab and highlight this create hex file option click on ok and build target so now it will show the path hex file path for your program and just minimize your kill ID and open your hardware simulation tool which is produce and now just click on this P symbol you can pick your devices now so choose the microcontroller which is 889C51 and choose your 7 segment with multiple digits So as four digits with common anode and now so connect your hardware connections with four multiple seven segments according to your program then as per your hardware connections this connect your port lines with first pin and these common lines which are connected with port 1 and all data lines which are connected with P2 and after doing your all connections just double click on controller it will ask for program file path <coughs> and choose this folder symbol you can select your digital clock hex file and click on open and give the same clock frequency as 
eleven point zero five nine two. Click on OK. And if you want to see this hardware simulation, you can play. So now you can find the four different numbers from four multiple seven segments according to your time is nine five right so it should be change as zero nine so here zero x c zero and this is zero x nine zero and if you do any modification change the program save the program and build it and now you can see the difference Nine five. so this is a way you people can design digital clocks by using multiple seven segments programming using microcontroller families so this is for every one second you can increment the count in seconds duration and after 60 seconds you can increment your minutes so you can take 8 6 you people can design calculators digital clocks and so many n number of applications by using multiple seven segments programming thank you